Good morning students. Uh, let us begin further. The lines from the textbook are now he felt her hand on his arm and was aware of the pleasure it gave him even though they had been married years enough to have the two children for they had not married headlessly in America. They had finished their work at school and had come home to Japan and when his father had seen her the marriage had been arranged in the old Japanese way. Although Sadao and Hana had talked everything over beforehand, they were perfectly happy. She laid her cheek against his arm. Dear students, headlessly means here carelessly. Further, let us have the explanation of the above passes in a very easy way. Sadao and Hana loved each other even after having two children. After many years of marriage, they had not married in a haste in America, rather they returned to Japan, sought permission from their parents, sought permission means he, uh, Dr. Sadao and even Hana took permission from their parents and then got married in a traditional Japanese ceremony. They had discussed all the details before the wedding, they were happy with each other. Hana rested her cheek against Sadao's arm with affection. So, in this passage, uh, dear students, we can say that both they are enjoying each other's presence even after getting married. So, they are leading really a very happy and affectionate life. Further lines from the textbook are, it was at this moment that both of them saw something black come out of the mists. It was a man, he was flung up out of the ocean, flung it seemed to his feet by a breaker. He staggered a few steps, his body outlined against the mist, his arms above his head. Then he curled, mist hid him again. Staggered means here walk unsteadily as if about to fall. Dear students, let us have the explanation of the above passes. That moment they saw a figure, figure means here man, appear out of the mist, mist means here fog. It appeared black in color due to the mist in the air. The outline of a man's body was visible in the mist. He walked unsteadily with his arms above the head. It was an indication that he was a prisoner. The man walked a few steps and then disappeared in the mist. Further lines from the textbook are, who is that? Hana cried. She dropped Sadao's arm and they both leaned over the railing of the veranda. Now they saw him again. The man was on his hands and knees crawling. Then they saw him fall on his face and lie there. Lind means here bent forward. The explanation of the above passage is, upon seeing the figure, Hana reacted by asking that who was that. She took her arm out of Sadao's arm and both of them bent forward over the railing of the veranda to have a closer look at the man. They saw him again. He was crawling on his hands and knees. Then he fell on his face and kept on lying there. Probably he had fainted, perhaps he had fainted. Further lines from the textbook are, a fisherman perhaps Sadao said, washed from his boat, he ran quickly down the steps and behind him Hana came, her wide sleeves flying a mile or two away on either side. There were fishing villages, but here was only the bare and lonely coast dangerous with rocks. The surf beyond the beach was spiked with rocks. Somehow the man had managed to come through them. He must be badly torn. Plus, spiked means here covered with sharp points. Let us have the explanation of the above passes in a very easy language. 
as the area had villages full of fishermen sadao said that probably it was a fisherman who had washed his boat he went to help him hana followed him the loose sleeves of her harui harui a kind of garment especially worn by japanese girls japanese ladies uh, flew as she ran this part of the coast was not inhabited as it had dangerous rocks on it as the rocks were pointed the man could be badly injured although he had managed to come through them dear students they saw when they came toward they means here hana and hana and sadao okay that indeed it was so the sand on one side of him had already a stain of red soaking through plus a stain of red means blood stain the explanation is as the japanese couple means hana and sadao saw the man they realized that he was badly injured the sand on which he lay had blood stains on one side which indicated that he was wounded plus further lines from the text book are he is wounded sadao exclaimed he made haste to the man haste means hurry he went towards the man hurriedly who lay motionless his face in the sand an old cap stuck to his head soaked with sea water he was in wet rags of garments sadao stopped hana at his side and turned the man's head they saw the face a white man hana whispered whispered means said very slowly sadao said that the man was wounded he approached the man who lay motionless with his face buried in the sand an old cap hung on his head it was soaked with the sea water his dress was also wet and torn sadao turned the man's head as they saw the face and i spoke confidentially that he was a white that that is an american white means here an american so this is the explanation of the above passes plus further lines are yes it was a white man the wet cap fell away and there was his wet yellow hair long as though for many weeks it had not been cut and upon his young and tortured face was a rough yellow beard he was unconscious unconscious means faint and knew nothing that they did for him the explanation is the injured man was an american as his cap fell off they saw his wet yellow colored hair which had not been cut for a long time he was young his face had such marks which indicated that he had been tortured he had a rough unkempt yellow colored beard as he had fainted he did not know of the presence of sadao and hana further lines from the text book are now sadao remembered the wound and with his expert fingers he began to search for it blood flowed freely at his touch on the right side of his lower back sadao saw that a gun wound had been reopened the flesh was blackened with powder sometime not many days ago the man had been shot and had not been tended it was bad chance that the rock had struck the wound plus tended means he cared for or looked after further the explanation of the above passage is sada was reminded that the man was wounded as he had seen blood stains on the sand as he was a doctor he moved his trained fingers around the man's back to search for the wound he felt blood oozing out of a wound in the lower part of his back it was a gunshot the man had been injured a few days ago he had not got any medical help to treat the wound as he had himself used some black colored powdery substance on it the sharp rocks on the shore had pierced it and so it was bleeding 
plus further lines from the textbook are oh how he is bleeding Anna whispered again in a Solomon voice Solomon means very sad or serious voice the mist screened them now completely and at this time of the day no one came by the fishermen had gone home and even the chance beachcombers would have considered the day at an end Dear students, Solomon means serious and concerned. Beachcomber means a vagrant who makes a living by searching beaches for articles of value and selling them. Vagrant means here the person who strolls over there. The explanation of the above passage is, Hannah was concerned that the man was injured and said in a low voice that he was bleeding. The mist had intensified now the three of them could not be spotted by anyone moreover the fishermen and the rag pickers did not visit the place at the time of the day further lines from the text are what shall we do with this man sadao muttered muttered means here said very slowly but his trained hands seemed of their own will to be doing what they could to stanch the fearful bleeding. He packed the wound with the sea moss that stewed the beach. Sea moss means here the sea vegetation, sea grass. The man moaned with pain in his stupor. Stupor means unconscious and uh, moaned means here cried, but he did not awaken. Muttered means speak in a low voice. Stanch means here stop or restrict especially a flow of blood from a wound, sea moss a kind of seaweed. Stewed means to be scattered untidily over a place or area, moaned means a low cry in pain, stupor means a state of unconsciousness. The best thing that we could do would be to put him back in the sea, Sadao said answering himself. Now that the bleeding was stopped for the moment, he stood up and dusted the sand from his hands. Yes, undoubtedly that would be best, Hana said steadily, but she continued to stare down at the motionless man. If we sheltered a man, a white man, means American, in our house, we should be arrested and if we turned him over as a prisoner, he would certainly die, Sadao said. The kindest thing would be to put him back into the sea, Hana said, but neither of them moved. They were staring with a curious repulsion upon the inert figure. Dear students, repulsion means a strong dislike. Inert means motionless. The explanation of the above lines are, Sadao answered to himself and said that, the best thing was to put the man back into the sea. As the bleeding stopped, he stood up and removed the dust from his hands. Hana supported his opinion but looked intently at the man as he lay still. Sadao said that if they gave him shelter, they would be arrested for sheltering an enemy. If they handed him over to the Japanese army as a prisoner, then he would die in the prison. So, these lines are showing that Sadao was in a dilemma. Dilemma is such a state of mind in which the people or the person is not able to think what to do or what not to do. This is called the dilemma. So, if they handed him over to the Japanese army as a prisoner, then he would die in the prison. As he thought that both the options were not favorable, so the best option was to put him back into the sea. Hana added that the kindest act for them was to put him back into the sea. Both of them did not move ahead to do so. Rather, they stared at the motionless figure with dislike. They disliked him because he was an enemy, an American. So, class, I think here uh, we will discuss further in the next turn. But uh, we can see that Dr. Sadao was a great patriot and uh, even he was an expert surgeon.
scientist doctor. So, both duties were with him and uh, there is a dilemma what to do or what not to do, whether he should hand uh, the enemy, hand over the enemy to the police, to the army or being a true doctor, he should save his life. So, this is the dilemma.